a family of people who do write in their spare time. My father's published books, um, psychological journals, a book about music improvisation. Um, my mother, when she was alive, um, kept journals, hun like hundreds of journals. Um, and I really think that it's in my blood. You know, in high school I did Model UN. I've always wanted to work for an NGO. I think that there's also an activist side of me that just wants to come out in any way that she can. Um, and I think in a lot of ways that's poetry. I've experienced death from people close to me, but you know, I don't, I don't have a lot of serious world issues to talk about because I'm a fairly privileged human being in this world and grateful for it. Um, but I really like um, the platform of being able to talk about my worries and concerns for the world, you know, with an audience that's ready to listen. The first poem I ever wrote was in 2006 in a bomb shelter in Israel uh, during the Second Lebanon War. Um, there were bombs flying over and uh, it wasn't a very serious situation, but it was, you know, it, took me very quickly to just start writing. I don't know where the idea came from or where the passion came from, but I just wrote it. And when I returned to high school, that's after that summer, um, I, spat, I, I spit the poem at a uh, poetry slam. And one of the guys who was two years older than me, who was a poetry extraordinaire, you know, came up to me and said, wow, you know, I'm taking my hats off to you. And so I finally realized that what I had written there was spoken word. I didn't even know what it was when I first wrote it. What I had written was spoken word and it was powerful and it was, um, it was good. I was good at it. So I continued from there. I never had the idea of I'm going to become a poet or I'm going to become a writer or whatever the case was. I always just wanted to write what I wanted to write on paper, and if it sounded good, great. If it didn't, whatever, it was my writing.